Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Banning of Isaac Repentance. Sorry, we're going to be jumping in as tainted characters this time around. Of course, randoming as usual. And go for a locks. I'm just going to take whoever we get, even if it's someone we've played recently. But we got Samson. Back to back Samson, both tainted and otherwise. This is a character that I really like. We've managed to do Mega Satan already. So, on my cards to do list is Boss Rush Hush, Delirium, um, Mother Beast. Or negative path. I I think we'll go for boss rush hush and negative path. That'd be the most unlocks we can get in one run. If things don't look like they're going too well though, we'll swap over and start going for the beast. Uh, that's one really good thing about uh, about going for the beast unlocks. Basically, once you get to about halfway through your run, if you don't make a boss rush or if you don't feel powerful enough, you can go for the beast and have a relatively okay chance of getting it. And I do believe that as the tainted characters. All of the beast kills do give uh, item unlocks. It's not trinkets or any object that could be spawned in the game, any card or anything like that. I'm pretty sure... This is a hard room, by the way. Uh, I'm pretty sure all of the beast unlocks for the tainted characters are items. So that's always nice. Unlocking items is always fun. We managed to get ourselves an extra... Um, an extra bomb and another extra bomb on this room and an extra key as well. Like, going, going pretty well here. Um... Of course, we got Mr. Stabby Stabby. We're going to try and utilize this. Of course, it... Oh, no. We got it. Keep spawning stuff. There you go. I had to run for it. I had the uh, I had the power. I love the speed that you get here. Okay, good. We'll try and look for our secret room, see where that goes. So let's go check our item room first. Obviously, not, not anything super impressive, but not terrible either. Uh, I think it's probably going to be here. Um, but we'll go and search this room... None that, actually, no, 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 no. We're not going to search that room. We're just going to go for it here. Um, try and find it. There you go. We got it. We did miss out on one of those pennies there, unfortunately. Check our shop as well, see what we end up getting. Uh, and we'll look for a second secret room as well, which is a little bit harder to find here. Uh, we've... <laughs> okay. No thank you, Plan C. No thank you. I'm, I'm okay. Uh, we will grab... I'm just going to grab this. I'm not going to get the golden key. I've realized that it means that we'll be spending the key, but I'm kind of okay with that. That's really good for us. And second secret room, I don't actually know. I think it's here, but I can't guarantee it. It is indeed. Good, good. Uh, and unfortunately, nothing we can really take there. Let's play this a little bit, though. Um, and we'll get some money out of that. And I'm going to go and quickly buy this here. I think it's worthwhile. I think it should be pretty good. And we'll head down to the next floor. Feeling pretty decent about how we've done thus far. Of course, not going all path this time. We just did Mother last. I'm glad that we're playing the uh, regular characters again because it means that we're seeing Mother a little bit more often. Of course, when we first started playing the tainted characters, we didn't really see Mother all too much at all, did we? Okay, grab that real quick. Um, ooh, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get uh, whatever this whatever this lassie drops. I can never really tell. Is this meant to be a girl? <laughs> I just kind of assume it is because of the massive vagina on its chest. Uh, but... <laughs> Who really knows? Who really knows? But anyways, let's see if we can get this. We probably won't get the health up. Unfortunately, we're probably only going to end up rage mode a little bit. Yeah. Do you know what? That, that. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. That, that annoyed me so much. Not only did I take a hit because I fucking got out the burn club at the worst possible time, but because of the massive speed up and me not remembering the spikes in the following room, I instantly took damage, losing our deal with the devil. Um, I think a bomb's more important at this current stage. Let's destroy this, see if we can get ourselves some hearts. No, no, no. We don't have any keys, so that doesn't matter. Oh, I'm a little scared. I'm a little bit scared. Oh, God, this is a room that I can see, I see us dying in. Uh, random shots traveling in different directions. Very, very easy, especially once we get out the burn club, which we'll most likely get out before the end of this room. There you go. Okay, at least it bounces shots away. Okay, I took damage. Give me that. We're dead. We're dead. I forgot we can stay in rage mode and try and get HP. No. No, 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 no. No, there's a heart in there. Fuck, no. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> that was so stupid. I was like, no, I've got to get into the boss fight and try and kill it before it ends. Hopefully I get a boss that spawns enemies. And then I got a fucking heart anyways. I always forget that the rage mode allows you to stay alive a little bit longer than it should. 
Um, oh well, we, we, we enter a next run. Uh, this is Burning Basement 1, so we're okay here. Uh, do you know what? Let's just grab that real quick. Ugh. <laughs> Not what I wanted. Not what I wanted at all. Hopefully this time we might have a little bit of a better run. We'll see. We shall see. Um, unfortunately, Mystery Sack wasn't the best thing for us to get early there. More options was also really wasn't very good, or whatever that one's called. Whatever that one's called. Um, this is pretty good. I'm definitely happy with Mum's contact there. We did miss out on our, um, our extra rage time there, but I'm kind of okay with it. I'm kind of okay with it, to be honest. Let's hope we get a key so we can open up that. Check our shop real quick. Uh, nothing there that's particularly good apart from maybe trying to destroy that, uh, that keeper to get the five cent. Might want to do that. Mum's contact here being fantastic for us. I can't remember if Mum's contact scales with luck or not, but either way, it would be nice to get some luck, at, even if it doesn't. Yeah, probably get rage mode for the next room here. Yeah, we're, we're about we're about to enter rage mode. About to enter it. Let's grab you. Mum's contact's gonna be so good with rage mode as well. Just getting enemies set up and oh, it actually yeah. Okay, so it's something I didn't actually expect should not have gone for that coin. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let this do its thing. Um, try this out. Ah, heck. Big old hackers. Probably should have just ran straight in here. And that's that's one thing that I need to get better at is, is how to manage my rage and how to uh like when best to use it, when to run to another room. Um because you do get the extended meter on the kill. I know that Birthright's really good on this guy because it extends that meter and extends the amount you get per kill by a good amount as well. It's not it's not a small amount. Okay, good, we got you. We'll grab latch key here. Um, not a particularly successful floor, all in all, but we'll go. I definitely preferred the start that we got on the previous run, because we got a health up rather than latch key. Although latch key giving us those keys is kind of nice. Maybe should have gone back to open up that golden chest, but we are here now. It's okay. I really don't like this room. Oh, mum's contacts. You are the best. Thank you. Freezing the hell out of these guys. Extra key there. Definitely wish I'd have done it now. Okay, Mum's Contact should help us against these guys quite a lot. This is a really annoying room, and of course, as always when I'm playing Isaac, my nose is itchy. Why would it not be? I'm playing Isaac, it has to be. Oh yes, stop you from attacking. Extra bomb here. This very much looks like our secret room. Let's, uh, let's check that out. Yeah, very, very much looks like our secret room. Stops you from doing your thing. Probably get into rage mode in just a sec here until we kill this guy. There we go. I always forget that it's on damage, not on kills. We're probably not going to get an extra room out of this, so I'm not that bothered about running around. Uh, let's go. Let's just check for the secret room. There's a chance it might not be, but it very much looks like it is. Yeah. Um, we got ourselves double sacks here. Pretty good stuff. Probably should have tried to actually push that troll bomb into the uh, the keeper there to get that nickel, or at least get the chance at the nickel. Uh, would have saved us a little bit. Good, good. I'd rather have had an extra bomb out of that. Wasn't a particularly successful stone chest, but let's not complain. Let's just push forward until the tasks end, as they would say in Darkest Dungeon. Uh, we have plenty of keys. We're absolutely fine on the key front. Absolutely fine. In terms of timing, we should be able to pretty easily make boss rush and hush because of the rage meter, uh, meaning that we get um, a massive speed up and the ability to basically plow through many rooms. Um, this guy's gonna be kind of annoying. Please, please, sir, may you fuck off. Okay, clearing that rock out has definitely helped. Please don't enter rage mode at the end of this room. Okay, thank God. And, pff, yes, please. Very nice. Let's take this pill. Please let me tear us down. Thank God. So this should not, this should do a few things for us. One, it's gonna mean that we do a lot more damage. But two, it's gonna mean that we enter rage mode a lot easier. Which is fantastic for us. Oh my god, it gives us the biggest fucking burn of all time. The biggest burn. Holy shit. I was not expecting this and it is the best thing ever. Oh my god. We are immensely powerful right now. Uh, honestly, I'm going to go into the deal with the devil. I very much regret it. This is awful. But I was thinking if we could get more damage, that would be great. Of course, this is just pathetic. I do not want that in any way, shape, or form. Uh, let's go in there and try and fire Soul Heart. But this is this has made the run so much better than I ever could have hoped. Um, unfortunately, nothing we can get out of that. 
Let's just move on to our next floor. I can't remember. Yeah, we can grab this key. Cool. Um, would like some more speed, just generally. It's very jarring going between two different speed values all the time. Um, health is fine. I'm a little bit annoyed I went into that deal with the devil and was not rewarded. I was really hoping we'd get something good there. I think that this uh, this could be a deal with the devil uh, type of run. We don't have any bombs, so let's open this. Didn't get any, but still it was worthwhile. These flies are absolutely killing it. I don't know where we got them from, but uh, mum's underwear. I forget mum's underwear gets a few flies now, which is kind of gross, but that's, that's just how it be. But yeah, we should be able to enter rage mode a lot more reliably now because we're de dealing so much more damage per hit. Um, and also, our rage mode is OP as shit right now. Because we uh, we have the biggest swing of all time. Uh, we should be able to complete many, many rooms on this. Okay, unfortunately, we didn't quite get this room. Take our time on this one as well. Oh, Mom's Contact helps out a bunch there. Nice one. Boom, and bop, nope, bop, nope, bop, nope, <laughs> bop, there you go. Finally got the bop. Uh, we also did get ourselves a, a, a holy card here, which if we get a bomb, I'm very interested in. Not doing a reroll, but I will check this. Yeah, that is completely and utterly not going to happen. Uh, we did get a chest here. We also got a double bomb door there. Uh, there we go. So I think we, I think we first of all, double bomb on this because we could get ourselves um, a crawl space. Pretty worthwhile jumping in here. Uh, yeah. So we got ourselves a clean bed so we can heal up if need be, but I'm more interested in the crawl space. We'd have to use three bombs to get to it. Do you know what? That isn't the, the, the best thing, really. That isn't the best thing in the world, but it also isn't terrible because if we're in rage mode, we end up accidentally running into an enemy, turning him into turd. It's going to be very, very nice. But this is a, a very special run to me now. Very special indeed. Uh, we do now have enough to buy from the shop too. Uh, I'm trying to think of what we really want from the shop. Uh, any sort of damage up would be fantastic. Anything to get us into rage mode a bit easier, a bit quicker. Mum's contact is so good. This is the best thing ever. We got a happy poop there. It is slightly annoying that we have to keep the meter going and, and come back for all of our consumables, but it's very worthwhile. Do you know what? <laughs> this is absurdity. Okay, there's that speed up we were looking for. Oh my god, we're gonna have to do some backtracking, but this is fantastic. Um, shielded tears, I don't know how that's gonna work with the burn, if it's gonna just destroy tears outright, but if it does, that's fantastic. Either way, shielded tears is very, very good for us. Definitely going to take that. We'll bomb you as well. Um, get ourselves a nice little nickel. And was there anything that we really wanted on the way back? Just this key, I think. There was a penny back up there, but I'm not going to worry about it. We've also got the holy card as well, which I do want, but I really want to make boss rush, so I'm just going to run. Um, I think so far, items are fantastic here. Boss rush should be an absolute piece of piss with the uh, amount of damage we're doing with our burn right now, I should think. It should hopefully be very, very easy. Um, got our item room straight away. A little dumpy, ain't that great, but I'll take him. Okay, this should get us our rage meter pretty much instantly here. There's a lot of enemies. Also, I suppose it's on damage, so lower health enemies ain't going to give us our rage meter anywhere near as quick, really. I totally touched you, but still, it's very annoying. Yeah. Um, rage, 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 fucking rage. I love the fact that Mum's contact still works. It's the best. Just go into the fight. Make sure that we don't do this on the thingy floor, though. And we get ourselves... That's actually pretty good. Uh, get ourselves mapping. Um, we don't need the key piece. We've already done Mega Satan. We do have a confessional booth here. I'm just going to bomb it. Um, it gave us a bomb back. Because those things... They can give you soul hearts, but we need our red health right now. Uh, we'll go back and get our secret rooms real quick. Because they're very easy to access. Also, probably want to head into our shop. Quickly take our time with these guys. Do One thing that is kind of pants is that Shielded Tears does get kind of, really, does get kind of eaten up a little bit by um, the fact that we've got Polyphemus here. Give us a soul heart. Thank you. I shouldn't have done that. That was a bad idea. I wanted my secret room, didn't I? I am stupider. 
Uh, what's in here? Yeah, it would have been a real good idea to just bomb that, wouldn't it? A real good idea. Uh, we're at nine minutes and we're at uh, Catacombs 2. We've got plenty of time. Let's uh, head away back and fight this mini boss, should we? We could even do this arcade if we thought it would be good. Good, good little dumpy there getting the stun. So fucking glad that I went back here. You're not doing it to me again, fella. You're not. I'm not having any of it. You hear me? And we can do rooms this quick. What's the point in not doing them? <clears throat> it, just a bunch of extra consumables for essentially free. Um, cool. Oh, this is this is this is just a great run. Uh, let's just bomb the hell out of everything in here because we've got unlimited bombs. Got ourselves an extra card. A few extra pennies. Bomb that as well. This is going great. I'm loving this. I can't remember what was in our shop, but I can't remember if there's any item we wanted to buy. The voodoo doll head, I remember that, but I don't remember anything else that was in there. Little Dumpy, you absolute shit horse. You just knocked my bomb right out the way. Okay. Uh, two of clubs, Devil, Hierophant, very worthwhile heading, heading in here. Got ourselves a Suicide King. <laughs> Heck no, we'll be leaving that the hell alone. Quickly just check out our shop again. King Baby is potentially decent, but I'm going to save my money, I think. Mini batteries. Okay, we've wasted about a minute and a half, two minutes on this floor that we didn't really need to. But we are well in time for boss rush here. We should be fine. Let's carry on our wayward son. And we drop on down. I'm glad that we still got an angel deal as well. Full mapping here is going to be super useful. Um, nah, no point doing that. Let's go get our second secret room on this floor. We should be able to just pro um, produce so much rage that we can make our way through the rooms very easily here. The little dumpy, you're absolutely a complete shithead. Stop pushing the enemies out of my way. Not the way I want you to be working. Really? This dude dodging all of my shots? We need tier rate up. T tier rate up would be fantastic right now. That's kind of our weakest element. Okay, I'm missing way too many really, really easy shots right now. Yeah, when we're not in rage mode, we, we go pretty slow. Yeah, I'm glad this room isn't combat. Sadly, I'm going to have to kill this guy and enter rage mode. This is going to be a complete waste of rage mode. Yep. But, it's okay. Yep, 100%. I'm very, very glad we went and got that. Um, the world doesn't matter. This does matter. Yep, I'll take that. I think that's a little bit better. Right, yeah, waste of rage mode there, of course, but a worthy waste. I will say that. Little Dumpy is kind of nice when he's stunning enemies that are just annoying for us, but at the same time, it is, it is very annoying when he pushes enemies around that I really don't want him to push. Teddy touch there, got that guy. Again, we're probably going to waste rage mode. Okay, no, we're not. Good. Uh, I'll take that. Crack the sky is fantastic. If we don't have rage mode, it's going to make bosses far, far quicker. Okay. Don't waste it. Really? God damn it, game. You had to do it, didn't you? The Joker is fantastic here. We'll probably end up needing to use that. And we are very much on target here. We got our shop. Gimme, gimme. A gimme, gimme, gimme. Uh, check our shop. We've got plenty of money here. I'm just going to buy it. Why not? Pay to play is fine by me. Take that. Let's go do our fight. So we crack the sky, which instantly kills him and also charges this up. No deal with the devil or anything here. So we just grab that. We joker. Um, yes and yes. Hungry soul I'm very happy with. And we go down to the next floor feeling very, very good. 
Um, I took those deal with the devils because I'm just kind of like, we've got a lot of HP going on right now. Uh, we should be absolutely fine for HP in the most part. Uh, Hungry Soul. I believe scales off our damage somewhat. Even if it doesn't, it does a lot of damage. I, th I think Hungry Soul is very, very good. Here. Um, bomb into here. I know that's not really worth bombing into there. We could just use a key. The D20 is interesting. I think Crack the Sky is a little better for us right now, though. I think Crack the Sky is a little better for us. Um, oh, we got a crane game with a tier upgrade in it. I want, I want Bigly. Damn you. Ah, why? There's also a Hell's game there as well, but we really don't have the HP to be playing a Hell's game. I love the fact that our little ghost demons and, uh, and our flies are actually charging our rage as well. You know what? This is an annoying enough room. We're going to waste our uh, rage mode here. No, we're not. No, we're not. Keep it going. Really? Really? You're going to do this to me? Of course you are, because you're a terrible enemy that's poorly designed. Right, let's go get our second secret room. Got plenty of time here. Okay, our hungry ghost here should do a fine job of killing everything. This little dumpling should should go away. Thank you for little dumpy doing that for me there. Uh, we get ourselves a bomb beggar. Not super useful. I'd rather just take the bombs. We did get a tinted rock in here too. Do not fucking push that away. Thank you. Uh, that is a small tier upgrade, although it is a bit of a speed down. This is not what I wanted to do. Fuck me. I did not want rage mode to activate there. Damn it. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, that was a complete waste of crack the sky. I thought her foot was going to come down a tad bit quicker than that. I've got to admit. Okay, there you go. Okay, so we want to go dark path here. Grab that. Health isn't looking so hot right now. Pop this. <laughs> Telekinesis is really good here. This is a tough one. This is a tough one because glass cannon's good. Telekinesis is good, but crack the sky is kind of better in my opinion. For the for the weirdest time ever, let, like the weirdest thing ever. Let's take Abel. Also, two munchy boys. Oh, really? You've laid red poops in the worst place possible there. One thing I did not think about at all in terms of our rage mode is the how fucking long it takes bosses to spawn. But we should be able to get the um, the rage meter back really quickly with Crack the Sky and such. Um, yeah. <laughs> really quickly. Crack the Sky should do a lot for us. Uh, our baby should do a lot for us. We should be able to... The, the, the Hungry Ghost is what I'm talking about when I say babies, by the way. Yeah, no thank you, sirs. God damn it. It takes so long for the fucking uh, enemies to spawn in. You never notice it until you need them to spawn in. What up, Pim? Look at all the Hungry Ghosts. They're just going to be giving us our Rage Meter filled so fast. What fucking monstro? Just get off your ass, you stupid biatch. Oh my god, crack the sky is the best. Crack the sky is the best. This is a very, very good run. I don't know how this is going to work on Hush, but I think we should be fine with Shielded Tears and the fact that we have insane uh, insane abilities to knock back shots with this absolutely gigantic fucking burn. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going down. Wow. That was insanely fast. Uh, we don't need that. I'm sticking with Crack the Sky. Um, and we we head onwards. We're going for Hush, of course, uh, but we're going for Dark Path as well. This is this is real strong. <laughs> as long as we can get that Rage Meter filled, we are we we pop off. We do. Um, got him. I do believe Abel actually aims at enemies now as well, which is kind of nice. Doesn't make him much better. 
That's pretty good. It gives us a black heart. Gives us a black heart. Do you know what? This is a room that I can definitely see Crack the Sky working in. Just give me rooms with enemies in so I can refill my rage meter. Oh my god, so many children. I got hit, but it's okay. My god, just keep going. Okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother racing to the to the boss room because we've got a second secret room here that we might as well grab. Gotta remember as well that Crack the Sky is always gonna kill the boss for us when it's a normal boss. Would like a bit more HP. Yeah, that's fine. Would like a bit more HP, definitely. But Crack the Sky is gonna instantly kill the boss or instantly fill our rage meter, so yeah. I'm gonna say either way this works out fantastically for us. Uh, that's very nice. And there's the tiers up to Good, good, good. Right, next floor. Push is a guarantee here. We'll definitely get there on time. No no doubt about that. Especially considering we have such good mapping. Um, don't have anything else over there that we really care about. The flies from our rotten hearts are so fucking good. Pop in here. Nothing I really care about. I could, I could get that golden chest, but I don't feel like I need to. Rage mode incoming. There you go. No, 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 no. Yeah, I had a feeling that was going to hit me, just based on the fact that it was a laser beam and I went for the wrong enemy. I went for him in the wrong order. Good, good. We got hushy, hushy, hushy. Let's go. Yeah, definitely want some more HP here. That would be, that would be tickety-boo. I forgot about this. Uh, pfft. That's a, a hard pass. Suplex is sexy. Suplex is pretty sexy. But knockout drops the... I, I feel like suplex is going to interrupt our gameplay flow. So let's just go with knockout drops. Okay, there's HP that we can't afford. I might want to just throw a bomb on this real quick. I really shouldn't have done that. I should have opened my chests first, but hey her. Yeah, see, bunch of stuff in there. Hopefully we can get Black Candle as well here. Maybe, yeah, we can, nice one. It's a bit more HP and no more curses. Um, don't have a Crack the Sky charge, which isn't fantastic. I will buy this card. Yes, it's a devil. Good. Good, 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 good. Should we look for a crawl space real quick? Why the hell not? Missed one rock there. Heck. Okay, this is the last two I'm doing. I'm not going to do any more. I'd want to keep one bomb just in case. Right. Devil card. And then we go. So our damage outside of um, rage mode is going to be pretty bad. Because he's going to be destroying a lot of our shots. But inside of Rage Mode should be really, really good. The only thing is, we're not going to be able to keep Rage Mode alive for very long because he doesn't spawn things very often. In the later phase, in the second phase, like second half, he's going to be spawning a lot of stuff. Shielded Tears is doing a great job, though, even if our damage is being lowered. I just have a feeling it's going to be really hard for us to actually get hits on this dude. Oh my god, Knockout Drops works with the swing. I didn't even think about that. That's the best. So yeah, we are going to lose a lot of damage to the fact that he just shoots a lot of bullets. It's going to be hard for us to connect. I think I think we've got to be kind of careful of that, but hopefully we should be okay. Him being stunned as well, I don't know if it blocks him from shooting, but if it does, that's nice. Also, he does this. This is something that he does less now, which is nice, but I really wish he just didn't do at all. When enemies like go underground and stop you from shooting them for like basically no reason and just halt progress on the fight, uh, I just hate it. I hate it so much. Right, there we go. You're spawning fellas now. The great, the great thing about these is they're going to spawn more hungry ghosts. And hungry ghosts not only do great damage, but they quite heavily fuel our uh, rage. They, they do a lot of damage and give us a lot of rage. Okay. Good stuff. I'm tap shooting a lot at the minute because I want to be able to use my uh, good old, good old this, that. 
Okay, stay, stay in position here. Knockout Drops is making some weird stuff happen, I'll admit. Kind of strange. Just stay still, wait until we get our swingy swingy, and keep swingy swingy. Like, look at this, what are you doing? Just, could you just, like, pop up and let me attack you? Because you're not attacking me. Like, it's not even like you're popping down while you're attacking me. You're just popping down for no reason. Okay, that, that tier is unreachable. I tried to smack it out the air to make our life a little easier. No, no, no. Oh, God. Oh, God. We're getting hit here. Hello. Hello, fellows. Can I have my rage, please? There you go. And you're underground again. Good. This is great, though, for all those haunted little ghosties. Maybe doing a lot of good damage for us. Trying to destroy as many of the tiers as I can, but it's... Holy shit. This is a lot of hungry ghosts, my fella. You are going to take a lot of damage right now. Look at him go. Look at him go. Look at little Dumpy go. Little Dumpy's in here trying to do his best. I mean, he's not even trying. He is doing his best. His best just isn't very good. But he's a, he's a good fella. There you go. We got our rage going. Rage, rage, fucking rage. Oh, hello. You got me at the last moment. I'll accept it. Solar Samson unlocked, and we are doing negative path. Yes, 100%. We did get a heart there, but we don't need it. So we go down. And I'm feeling very good about this run. This run's very fun. Very, very fun indeed. Oh, God. I wish I hadn't walked into this room. Um, I hate those little things. Right. Bomb through this. What up, fella? Do you know what? Crack the sky on you. Why even bother fighting you? Why did I come to this room? This room was so pointless for me to come to. What up, Monstro 2? Sadly, you're not going to really produce any babies in time for us to... Uh, Get an extended warranty on our uh, rage. Oh, these things will hit me if I if I don't kill them fast. Thank God I did. Okay, rage incoming. We do get some spawns though, so we should be able to keep our rage mode going a little longer. I did unfortunately get hit there, which is unexpected. What up, Abel? Abel, Abel, if you're able. Grab, grab. And... Stay still. Bomb there. Little bit early, unfortunately. Doesn't make it too, too much difference, especially when we get the Haunted Souls going. Wow. Okay. Oh my god, the fact that you can push him around is kind of funny. Okay, back into feet mode. What up, big old feet? Big old feet. Let's delete us, these fetus. Careful of the uh, the leech spawns and careful of getting hit too. Bad hits. Okay, down we go. We should be fine to get uh, to get the lamb here. I think I'm pretty sure we should be okay. Let's check what we end up getting with our deals. Not good for us at the minute. No, no, and yeah, we'll take that. It gives us it gives us health back and it gives us a good amount of damage. I think it's worth it. They should give us good rage mode here. Ooh, that was close. I almost got hit by that guy. I'm having a real hard time not getting hit by this bastard right now. Oh my god. Yep, I knew it. I saw that coming from a mile away. Sadly, we're not going to be able to keep rage mode going all too long here. Because we can't kill things super fast. Magician's pretty nice. Uh, let's just make our way to the boss. Why not? Okay, this is a room where we probably get hit once or twice. Because there's a spectral boy. I think he's the only one left, actually. Okay, that was unexpected. Everything just kind of was dead already. Good stuff. Oh, no. That was so close to being perfectly timed to get rage mode going. I need to not get hit a bunch more times here. I am again going the wrong way. Shoop the Whoop, I think, is definitely better. We can probably get out more damage with Shoop the Whoop and it charges a bit faster. And that should fuel our rage. Yeah, I thought so. Get out the way, Troll Bombs. I'm just going to keep swinging to try and make sure they're out the way. Justice is... Would have been nice if it didn't spawn a fucking Troll Bomb on me. I'm just going to use this. I hated having to use that there. But it, it felt kind of necessary. Okay, thank you. An easy room. 
A somewhat easy room, should I say. I won't call this room easy, because if they get released, they can be a pain in the ass. Okay, good. We will indeed get our meter back ready for the uh, ready for the boss fight. Our meter, our shoot the whoop, which essentially is our is our rage meter. It's our fuel. It's our damage fuel. What a crazy run this has been, though. What a crazy run. Ugh. What a terrible, terrible room before the boss. Thank God we got rid of one of them. What a terrible room before the boss. Why don't you get punched? Yep, you do get punched. You get punched directly into me. God damn it. He's gonna ra he's gonna rage me right before the boss fight, isn't he? I just know it. Yeah, you dickhead. You absolute dickhead. That should insta rage us again, pretty much. Yeah, it did. Take out the body first. There you go. And you are done for, sir. Give us uh, give us delirium. I'm I'm totally down to go delirium. I don't have great HP, but really, I think we can do it. Maybe not now, because I've been hit twice already. To the last little limp bit. We did get Delirium. Uh, we haven't done Delirium already, have we? No. HP is terrible here, so I will imagine we'll most likely die trying to do this. But we've got to try it, haven't we? We've got to try it. And we do have mapping as well, which makes things a bit easier. There is secret rooms under the, the void floor. I didn't know that. I, I made that mistake when I was playing Kane. Um, glad I saved my Magician card now. Makes things a little easier for us. Most rooms should be very, very easy because they won't be boss rooms. In fact, I actually think we might we might be able to keep like one continuous rage going for a lot of this. Soul heart there. We need to garner as much HP as we can before fighting Delirium here. I'd very much like to be on max. Got them gurglings. Lots of champion ones. Stop it, you. Stop it. Get some help. Um, it's very hard to know, like, where the boss could be here. There's a lot of them I know that can't be the boss, so let's go do them first. Let's jump in here. Sadly, nothing good. Oh, God. I, re I regret the enemy I went for first there. Thank God that worked out, but... I immensely regretted that. We're good. Keep her going. Keep her going. Damn it. We can actually open those with a swing. Nice one. What up, Blood? Dirty Mind as well. Thank you. Definitely good for the Soul Heart. Very welcome. Uh, don't think this can be the boss either. Oh, this room sucks. Ass. Yeah. Hate that room so much. Poorly designed room. Sadly, unfortunately, when you add 7,000 new rooms, there's going to be some that are really, really bad. But hey her, I won't hold it against him. And we brimstone you. Well, not brimstone, but you know what I mean. That's pretty good. Or Babylon. Uh, if we manage to get rid of this extra red heart. Uh... This could be Delirium, so I don't want to do this fight yet. It's very hard to tell which ones could be. It's weird that we've got all of our bosses down here. Really? Why? Why? I just don't like rooms where you have to wait so long. To do anything. It's just saddening. Um, that could also be Delirium there. I think we'll go for this one over here first. And then the two in that corner could also be Delirium, so that kind of no goes. Good. Shielded Tears has been so valuable this time around. God damn. Sometimes it's like one of those tier effects that you really don't get much value out of. This time is not one of those times. We got Yes Mother. We also got a High Priestess card, which I think is a bit better than a, a Hermit card. Right. I'm going to go do the two in this corner here and, and see. We might get lucky. But HP is not currently good enough to do Delirium. You just, 
you, you, we, you get telefragged. Like, we can swing and block a lot of shots, but we cannot swing and block a telefrag. It's just not plausible. That guy's breathing. I always forget how many champions there are down here. It's kind of insane. Like, it's like 80% champions. Okay. Not delirium, but it is an annoying boss that, we, that we're not going to be able to use rage mode mostly for. Really? Can you just like... There you go. The Pact is fantastic here. Damage and HP. Here's Delirium. Got a bit of damage there. Sadly, yeah, I was just about to say this isn't very good because creep and stuff. I don't think Rage Mode's really going to be very good for us here at all. We got a Herming Burn. Never, never burn alone. Switching between modes isn't going to give us anything either. He doesn't really spawn much stuff a lot of the time, at least. He does spawn some stuff, but extending our rage meat is going to be kind of a pipe dream for the most part. Um, it made the sound as if I'd killed the boss, but I definitely haven't. Can you, can you, can you stop? Oh, also, why are all these poops friendly? Oh, dirty mind. Nice. Yeah, it made the sound as if the, the boss fight's over and the music is now telling me it's over, but it's definitely not. <laughs> he is very much still alive. If could stop lying to me, game, that'd be great. Yeah, I think they just need to remove attacks where enemies jump on you. Make things a lot better. What up, Holo? This is very weird, fighting Delirium with this music. Still think we've got a very good chance of dying here. Just, the, the, the Telefrags are too strong. There's nothing you can do about them. And also him just moving unbelievably fast. I don't even know where the boss is right now. Look at this. What the hell is going on right now? Half the time you just don't even know what boss you're fighting. What the hell? You move so fast, you motherfucker. What the fuck is going on? How am I meant to... We're dead. We're dead, sadly. It was good while it lasted. It was a fun run. It was a fun run. Come on, rage mode? Rage mode? I can't believe we're going to die here. Yep. We beat Delirium and died. Oh my god. That's not going to give us the completion mark either because you have to jump in the chest for it to count even though he is literally dead. Uh, that's kind of annoying. <sighs> I'm just going to check. Yeah, it doesn't count. Stupid that it doesn't count. Really fucking stupid because we did kill him. Uh, I forgot about the extended lifespan on the rage meter thing. Um, but what were we to do? He just kept jumping on top of me and telefragging me. That boss is impossible to actually have any tactics or anything with. Either way, very good run nonetheless. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.